Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 18, distance of the coordinate plane. First example here says classwork opening exercise. Four friends are touring on motorcycles. They come to an intersection of two roads. The road they're on continues straight and the other is perpendicular to it. So I drew a line. So here's the line there, the road they're on continuing straight. And this is a road sign that they're approaching. So picture this sign, like maybe right here on the side of the road and they're coming up and this sign is down here, okay? So it then says, the sign at the intersection shows the distances of several towns. Draw a map diagram of the roads and use it and the information on the sign to answer the following questions. So I'm looking here and I'm at this stop sign here at this intersection and it says Albertsville is eight miles to the left. So I would take my pen and draw out to negative eight, eight miles to the left. That'd be left eight on the number line. So this is my X axis. So that's X road X and we are driving on road Y if you will. It says Blossville is three miles straight ahead. So if I don't turn and I go straight three miles right here, actually I'm going to put that on the other side. Three's right here. So here's Blossville. And then Cheyenne is 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Up here is Cheyenne and Drew Falls as if I turn right and go six miles. Okay. So if I label these, then I would turn left and go eight miles and I'd be at Albertsville, so I'll put in A. If I went straight ahead three miles, I will end up at Glossville. Glossville is right here. And if I continue on tw to 12 miles way up here, then I'm at Cheyenne. If I turn right, I go to Dewey Falls, which is at six miles to the right. There's Dewey Falls. So we have Albertsville, Glossville, Cheyenne, Dewey Falls. So there's my diagram. I'm now going to use that diagram to answer questions. What is the distance between Albertsville and Dewey Falls? So the location of Albertsville is eight miles to the left, and the location of Dewey Falls is six miles to the right. So we want to do what to find the total distance? So I'm going to pause this, think about that a moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, so if I think about this, if I'm sitting here, and I know that Albertsville is eight miles to my left, and Dewey Falls is six miles to my right, and I'm in between them, then I, I'm thinking, okay, I need to add the distance from here to here to the distance from here to here, and I get the total. So I'm just going to take the 8 and add it to 6, and that is going to be 14 miles. The distance between Albertsville and Dewey Falls is 14 miles. What is the distance between Blossville and Cheyenne? Well, Blossville is 3 miles, but it's not asking how far I am from that. It's asking how far Blossville is from Cheyenne. So Cheyenne is 12 miles away, and Blossville is 3 miles away. In order to find out how far that is, I am 12 miles from Blossville, but I'm 3 miles from Cheyenne. So if I drive to Blossville, I'm now closer to Cheyenne, and the distance I drove will tell me how far I have left to go, if that makes sense. So if I'm here and I drive to here, then the distance I have left is how far Blossville is from Cheyenne. So if Cheyenne was 12 and I drive three miles to Blossville, that's a, a three miles less I have to go, and 12 minus three is Okay, on the coordinate plane, what represents the intersection of the two roads? So on the coordinate plane, what is that point right there? And that is the origin. Example one, consider the points negative four, zero, and five, zero. What do the ordered pairs have in common? 
Okay, and the answer to that is both y coordinates are zero. Okay, I had students, in, I had one student in class say, well, let's see if both are y coordinates zero, then we are on the x axis. That was an excellent answer, that is also true. Okay, what does this mean about the location of the coordinate plane? Both of their y coordinates are zero, so each lie on the x axis, like I just said. So I'd say since both y coordinates are zero, each point lies on the x axis. is the horizontal number. Now it says use the same method to find the distance between negative 4 and 5. Okay, so now we want to find the distance between negative 4 and 5. So we want to know what the absolute value is. How far is negative 4 from 0? So we now know that we are on the same horizontal line. Okay, because our y's are equal. So I'm going to say the absolute value of negative 4 equals 4. And I'm going to take the absolute value of 5, and that is also going to be 5. That's going to be 5. So the numbers are on opposite sides of 0, so we add the absolute values. Okay, so if negative 4 is left of 0 and 5 is right of 0, to find the total distance, we add. So now I'm going to take the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4, Add it to the absolute value of 5, which is 5, and that is a total distance of 9 miles. And that, in this case, well, they didn't call this miles, so let's just call it 9. I suppose we could say units. Okay, so yes, I suppose I will do that. On a name. Consider the line segment with endpoints 0, negative 6 and 0, negative 11. So now I see both x's are 0. What do the ordered pairs have in common? Okay, that is the x coordinates are both 0. What does this mean about the segment's location in the coordinate plane? They are both on the y axis. Okay, when x is zero, we're on the y. Find the length of the line segment described by finding the distance between each endpoint zero negative six and zero negative eleven. So again, I'm going to take the absolute value of negative 6, and it's 6. The absolute value of negative 11 is 11. So we're both, both of those are below, or to the, yes, down below the origin. So are we going to add those, or are we going to subtract? Okay. Um, if we're on the same side of 0, we have to subtract. So we're going to take 11. Minus 6 in this case, and that is going to be the distance from negative 6 to negative 11 is 5. So if we're on opposite sides of 0, like one's negative and one's positive, we take the absolute values and add. And if we're on the same side of 0, they're both negative or they're both positive, we take their absolute values and subtract. Example 3. Consider the segment with endpoints negative 3, 3, and negative 3, negative 5. So my x's are the same, which means I'm on the y-axis location, the same elevation of, that's the y-axis, I should say. We are on the y-axis, but we're down three units from the origin. For the origin. So what do the endpoints, which are represented by the order pairs, have in common? 
the x coordinate. The x coordinates are the same. What does this tell us about the location of the segment on the coordinate plane? They're both below the x-axis. Okay, both below the x-axis. Okay, and it's actually parallel to the x-axis. So we'll get to that at another time. So now it says find the length of the line segment by finding the distance between its endpoints. So I don't have to do anything with the x's because we're on the same horizontal line, if you will. But I want to know how far 3 is from negative 5. So we take the absolute value of 3, which is 3. We take the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. And since one was on the above, which since one was to the right of the origin and one is to the left, we have to add their absolute. Okay, so the distance is 8. Okay, so now that I've discussed this and explained that if they're opposite signs, you take the absolute values and add, and if they're the same sign, you take the absolute values and subtract. Now complete this exercise A through E on your own, pause the video, and then come back and see if you've got the correct answers. Okay, in this one, our Y's are the same which means we're at the same elevation of 4, so it's a horizontal line above the x-axis. One point is left of the origin 9 units, and the other one is left 4. So we take the absolute value of negative 9, and that is 9. We take the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4. Since they're both negative, we're going to subtract 9 minus 4 equals 5. And finally, the last one, zero, zero, when x is zero, we're on the y-axis. So now we are on the y-axis with these two points. Negative 11 is 11 below. So that is a distance of 11 units from the origin. And 8 is 8 units above. So since one's below and one's above, we add. And the total distance is 19 units. That's the end of lesson 18. Go do your problems.